maybe estrogen is just an indirect way that we maintain that muscle bulk. I read a systematic review and meta-analysis this week that is saying that hormone therapy does not change muscle mass in postmenopausal females. And I have to believe that this study is, is actually good and what it's reporting is fact, but it challenges my beliefs and it makes me kind of uncomfortable. And I have not stopped thinking about this article because what it said was hormone therapy in postmenopausal females does not preserve lean body mass. Now, I personally know as a physical therapist that hormone therapy makes a huge difference in women and I thought their muscle mass. And I'm telling you, I don't understand this. So I thought about it, thought about it, thought about it. What the article is saying is at baseline, hormone therapy alone does not preserve lean body mass in postmenopausal females. Okay. The other thing it tells us is we don't have enough studies. Uh, we don't have specific parameters, you know, like the design's not so great, but of what we have, it does seem to make it look that way. Now, nobody's arguing about the tendons, the bones and all that. It's just specifically lean body mass. Okay. What if as physical therapists, this is what I've come to like accept. What if estrogen indirectly affects muscle mass and muscle health? Because if you've taken care of women in the menopause transition, you will know that many of them, now keep in mind, they're all different, are overwhelmed, sad, blue. They, they're not motivated. They want to be motivated, but they're just, they have a harder time because estrogen affects the neurotransmitters. So their thoughts, it's hard habit-wise. They're also experiencing a lot that they're squished in the middle between their parents and kids. So there's this emotional stress that happens with them being the keeper of all the things. And we know this from previous research for women. So indirect, maybe it affects the neurotransmitters and the ability to motivate. The other thing is, is I do think estrogen regulating inflammation makes a huge difference because how can you walk and lift with your lower body if your plantar fasciitis is killing you? How can you lift overhead when your shoulder is frozen? So glucose regulation, uh, inflammation regulation, estrogen helps us in these other pathways, which orthopedically can help us stay healthier so that we're less likely to be injured so we can maintain our weightlifting and keep going while our neurotransmitters helps us say, hey girl, you gotta do that and you can do it. You can focus, you can stay motivated. What do you think? Somebody tell me because this is this has been the bane of my existence this week. Like I literally, I, I can't, I'm beside myself in my head.